Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw real wood textures on SketchUp, which is an essential resource for furniture design. I'll skip the about me, but I'll put some information in the description. Also in the description, I'll put quick links to skip ahead in the video. Uh, let me just show you quickly what we'll be making. So here's an example of some finished panels uh, that you might use on furniture. Some different stains, so we have some ebonized ash here, uh, some oak, and some walnut. So these are some pretty common panels that you might make. If you notice, if you look into the panels, all the seams line up and it looks like a real piece of wood that you might make for a project. And I'll show you how to make these right now. So let's just dive right in. This is gonna be a quick video. So this is just the basics of how to do textures and what you might use this for. So we'll make this just a random size. You got a 30 inch by a 60 inch rectangle and I'm just typing that at the top in the measurements area. We'll go ahead and extrude this with a push pull tool which is just P on your keyboard or you can grab it from the top and we'll just make this something like what you might make a panel. We'll call it 1.5 inches and I'm just placing that at the top. You can write 1.5 or one and a half and we'll go ahead and make this a group. So we can go ahead and just make a rectangle the same size by drawing it over top. Take that and just lift it above. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded some images. So we'll go and pull that up, import. Go ahead and make a, a walnut panel. You just wanna make sure you're, you're selecting the setting which is use as texture, import that. Go ahead and paste that on the corner and drag it all the way to the side. So we have our, our first texture that we're gonna use. You wanna make sure you right click it by selecting the face, right click it, go to texture, project it. It won't work if this is double clicked. You actually have to go and select the one top face. But now that we have that projected, we copy that, paste that on the corner. And what we wanna do is flip it on, on the red axis. So we'll go and flip along red direction. Then what we're gonna do is rotate it and we can switch these compasses with our with our arrow keys. So we're gonna switch that to the green and just drag it to that corner. So it lines up on that corner and we can pull it out. And just make sure that that red line is indicating that it's going in a straight line from the red axis. Now we can take the same panel, copy it again, paste it in that corner. And what we wanna do is flip along the green direction. So once we've done that, we can drag it from any point that locks and move it up to the corner. What we're doing right now is just making all the different faces line up and I'll explain to you why I'm doing it this way. Essentially, when I take this panel, let me just move this out of the way and I'll get my hand tool it so I can move this so you can see it. Bring up our paint tool, which is B on your keyboard and your eyedropper. We're gonna go into this panel and paste it. When we do that, you'll notice that some places line up and some textures don't look accurate. So now that we have this rectangle that lines up to our corner and we've flipped it, we can copy it, get our eyedropper tool out, go back in here and paste it. And now this runs in the correct dimension. Same with this line here, this doesn't look great. so. Go back to our paint bucket tool, eyedropper, zoom in, and we can paste it. Now you can see these lines line up perfectly. So that's a perfect seam, just like a panel would look. We can delete these now. And now that you understand why, we'll do it again on this side. So we'll take that rectangle, lock it into a corner, flip along green direction because essentially we want to make this a mirror image. M for the move tool or it's up at the top here. Q for rotation. Rotate it on the red compass. Then we can just move it out and follow the same step. B for the paint tool. B brings up our paint bucket. 
and then Apple is our eyedropper or command. And we can double click, select one of these faces, and drop it in. Now these seams line up perfectly. Just to do the last one here, as we have one left that's undone. Same rectangle, copy in the corner, flip along red direction, grab it from the corner, and we can rotate it in. We'll just move it out a little bit so we can see. Bring up our paint tool again. B brings up our paint tool. Command brings up our eyedropper. Double click. Select the face we want to paste on. There we go. We have one panel. So I did this one as a walnut panel. But as, I, as you can see, all the seams line up perfectly. And that's something we can use when we're doing a table, a shelf, or anything like that. And let me just quickly bring this up. That's what I did to create all of these panels. So all of these panels are essentially the same thing with oak and ebonized ash. So that's something you can use for any of your SketchUp videos. And it's, uh, as you can see, about a five minute job. And it's super easy. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. And uh, I'll see if I can add more to the video next time.